Hi and welcome. So before leaving here, I thought I would just publish um, an update of the current state of Turan. I think when we last left off, um, it didn't really have a proper DC-DC converter and it had no onboard charging and various other stuff. So let's look at what it looks like. What's that? Three years after it was finished. So, welcome to the engine bay. First uh, thing you see, that the space above the inverter is now occupied. And that is a Mitsubishi Outlander charger and DC-DC converter. So it receives AC power via that connector right here. And control signals via that connector right here. Um, which then run to this round connector that used to connect to Nissan's charger and um, DC-DC converter and that's quite handy because I can use Nissan's original wire loom which runs like left to right to to route uh, various uh, control signals through the engine bay without extra wiring. Of course now that it has an onboard charger uh, we also need an inlet socket and that is hidden behind here. That's from one of the newer Nissans. It's got a little magnet from a hard drive to hold the flap closed while driving. Yes, on top of the charger you see um, a Chinese uh, inverter. And its guts have been replaced by an inverter that doesn't take 12 volt as an input but uh, 400 volts. And so I'm routing 400 volts from my DC junction box into the inverter and it outputs um, 3 kilowatts of AC power on this Shuko outlet here and normally that is connected to this heater down there that is actually intended for um, ice cars and works just as well for heating the cabin of this. Little bonus, I can unplug it from here plug it into a regular wall outlet to um, preheat the car without sucking energy from the battery. And also I can plug in anything here. So uh, wherever the car is parked it can supply energy uh, up to 3 kilowatts to whatever you want to run. And I ran this year's uh, summer festivity in August from the car alone. And I think we just used like 30% of the battery instead of about 10 liters of diesel that we used to burn away for that event. Yes, then this here might only be temporary. The new DC-DC converter always outputs 14.4 volts, which is a bit too much for the LFP batteries. So I put the stock lead acid battery back in here. Looks a bit tidier, but it's actually worse because lead. I think that is pretty much it in here. Let's take a quick peek inside. So in here I've added a uh, cheap Android radio that I was actually donated. And if it's not offline, it's online. Let's hope this works. Yes, it does. <clears throat> yeah, and it shows me information like SOC and various voltages and currents and also lets me uh, adjust regen when in drive mode and charge power or um, charge sock limit while in charge mode. In addition I added um, heated seats so cheap eBay product three level heated seats and certainly they take like 60 watts when heating up and are certainly more effective than running the 2 kilowatt heater. Okay, last update is underneath the car. You've all seen the update to the 40 kilowatt hour battery pack and now um, we also upgraded the battery cover. which used to be wooden or plastic, then wooden and now it's aluminium. Hi. Hi, good morning. 
kümmert sich hier um meine Akkuabdeckung. Das war nämlich bisher dieses, diese schöne Siebdruckplatte und diese diversen Plastikteile hier. Und das wird jetzt getauscht durch diese super glänzende, schicke Aluplatte. So, ja, neue Optik hier. Nichts steht mehr runter. Ist alles noch glatter. Ja, lass das mal angucken. So, was, was haben wir denn hier? Mit äh, Service Disconnect Wartungsöffnung. Genau, dann kann ich das alles spannungsfrei jetzt schalten. Glatt ist hier verschraubt. 2 mm, ne? 2 mm alle. Genau. Mehr Bodenfreiheit habe ich jetzt. Äh, keine komischen schabenden Schrauben mehr. Die ständig komische Geräusche machen. Und vor allem, es sieht vernünftig aus. Schön genietet und es wird auf jeden Fall auch äh, etwas dichter sein als vorher. Ja. Ja, von daher würde ich sagen, langer Tag, aber das Ergebnis kann ich sehen lassen. Ja, auf jeden Fall. I hope you find that um, little five minute update about the current state of Turan. Interesting. I'd say thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.